Hello, this is Steve at Hydrogen for Health. I was contacted by a customer a few days ago that had one of these water bottles that he bought, I think off, off of Amazon. He was concerned when he tested it with his H2 Blue drops that he wasn't even able to get one drop of H2 Blue to clear up in the water. And when I'm talking about H2 Blue clearing up in the water, what we do to measure hydrogen content in water is we take a sample of the water and we test it with these drops and as we put a drop into the water if it turns clear that means there's at least 0.1 ppm of hydrogen content in the water and for every drop it's 0.1 typically bottles like this that are straight electrolysis bottles that don't have PEM or dual chamber technology will get between 0.2 and 0.7 ppm of hydrogen content. So what we're going to do today is we're going to fill it up, we're going to run it for its cycle, and then we're going to test it with these. This is MIZ. It's the company that makes H2 Blue and they're out of Japan. We're going to test it with these drops. So I'm going to go ahead and fill it up um, I'm filling it with distilled water today. Um, if you have one of these cheap um, straight electrolysis bottles that doesn't have PEM or dual chamber technology, you're going to want to use distilled water in it because if you use any water that has any salts, which is tap water, a mineral water, it's going to have chlorides in it, which is salts that are just naturally in the water. If this water has any chlorides in it, it's going to generate chlorine gas and it's also going to generate ozone in your water and we don't want to be drinking chlorine. It's like kind of like drinking pool water. If you haven't seen my video on is your hydrogen water safe to drink, you might want to go and look at that video. It shows what's happening to your water in one of these bottles. So we're using distilled water today. If you use distilled water in one of these bottles you'll be okay. It won't generate any chlorine or ozone. So let's go ahead and fill it up. Okay, we've got it nearly to the top there. Go ahead and put the top back on. All right, and then let's start it up. And there it goes. If you look closely, you can see the hydrogen and oxygen being created at the bottom. So this type of bottle here will also put oxygen along with hydrogen into your water. As long as you're using distilled water, it won't generate any chlorine or ozone. So let's go ahead and let it run its cycle and then we'll come back when it's done.
All right, it says it's done, and it had a a scrolling message down here that said it was a negative 260 ORP. Let's see if there's any hydrogen in it. So what we'll do is we'll take a sample up to the top of this line, 6 mLs, and we'll do the test. All right, let's put a drop of MIZ into the water. Now if it turns clear, it has 0.1 ppm. As you can see, the water did not clear up. So that means that this bottle is producing less than 0.1 ppm. The therapeutic level for hydrogen and water is 0.5 and above. So if you have this bottle, I'm sorry to tell you that it's not putting much hydrogen into your water. If you have a hydrogen bottle that you would like for me to test, just contact me at info at hydrogen4health.com. I'd be glad to test it for you if you want to send it to me. And I'll even do a video to put it online. Well, this concludes this video. This is Steve. Thanks for watching.